welcome the fluidity of your life. Welcome the fluidity of your energy. And it may shift 10 times in a day. Welcome the fluidity of what's happening on the planet. Welcome the dance of the cosmos in your body, in your consciousness, in your field. Welcome the fluidity of sexual orientation to parents, grandparents as well, because your paradigm will be shaken with what's coming between your kids and your grandkids. The sexual orientation is going to be totally different than what you have known, those who are past 50, 60, 70. Because the children who, are, who took birth 30 years ago, maybe some 40 years ago, I will say younger generation, their DNA is totally different. Their consciousness about sexuality is totally different. Not like yours. Yours is all paradigms, all system. There's a fluidity as energy in gender today. You see, the soul has no gender. When your children or your grandchildren come to you and say, I'm a queer, I'm this, I'm that, listen with your heart. Call on me instantly. Bring me into your heart. Stay in your heart with them. And say to them, I hear you. They may come to you and they may have been married and have kids. They come to you and say, you know what? I just find out that I'm gay. Welcome your child. Recently, it was very hard for me to hear that. There was a few reverend pastors, priests, who said openly in their church, my son is evil. My daughter has been possessed by devils. I mean, it hurts. It hurts. You cannot do this to your child. Your child may realize tomorrow that she's a lesbian. So what? You created her. She's a soul above everything. And maybe she comes to me and say, you know what, mom? I just found out I'm a non-binary. Okay. <laughs> Live your life. Welcome. Hold her. Give her comfort. And it could be that your child come to you and say, I'm not well, mom. I don't know what's happening to me, dad. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm becoming a transgender. Hold, hold the hand, both hands. Hold the child, put your heart and the heart together. Welcome. Maybe that's what, maybe your grandchild can't say to their parents will come to you. Everything is okay right now. You have accepted to be on the planet when we change civilization. Take ownership of that. Take ownership. Take responsibility of what you have chosen to be as a pillar of consciousness, of light, the I am self as you, human, to support the new civilization. I am all in. My children can come, my grandchildren can come and say, you know, I am a transgender now. I am a non-binary, anything. It's all okay with me. My love for them doesn't change. They are still a being of light. They will always be a being of light. They are a soul. They will always be a soul. And their humanness is for me to welcome. And I ask you the same thing. Welcome them. They need you. This is a time where they need you the most. They need your love, your affection, your tenderness, your understanding, your ears, a pair of ears. They need your heart. And express yourself. And your sexuality will change. Because this time is coming. Oh.